News breaking just minutes ago. South Carolina is ordering mandatory evacuations along its entire coastline as Hurricane Florence, which is now a Category 4 storm, powers its way through the Atlantic. Look at the size of this thing. We're going to show it to you on a, on a bigger map so you have a sense of how big this storm is. Florence is expected to make landfall in the Carolinas on Thursday. At noon tomorrow, September 11th, I'm all, I have already ordered the mandatory evacuation of all people in all of the evacuation zones. We do not want to risk one South Carolina life in this hurricane, so we are willing to suffer some inconvenience. The storm has caused a Trump campaign to cancel a rally in Mississippi scheduled for later this week. NBC meteorologist Michelle Grossman joins us now with the latest on this major storm. You know it's serious because Michelle's in here with me. This is big, it's slow moving, and it's powerful. That's right. There's no place I'd rather be. Let's start with that. Yes. And you're right. This is a serious situation. And we're going to continue to watch this over the next several days. Time is of essence here. We have a few days before it really does make landfall. So make your plans now. We're looking at a destructive storm by Thursday into Friday. You can see by this graphic here how conducive we are for these strong storms, right? We have three storms in the Atlantic, two in the Pacific, and even the remnants of Gordon affect in parts of the Northeast back to Texas. So let's hone in on uh, Florence here. You can see a huge storm, right? We saw that on satellite just a few minutes ago, and we're seeing the bubbling thunderstorms. We're seeing that eye form, just a perfect storm, really. And we're going to continue to see this as we move across the Atlantic here. So winds at 130 miles per hour. We're going to see strengthening over the next several days, we have ingredients that are just right for blossoming storms. We have very warm waters that really helps to fuel the storms. That's in place. The second one is a light wind shear. So wind shear tends to rip apart a storm. That's not there. So we're going to see the ingredients helping it to move towards uh, the coast here. Again, making landfall as a Category 4 storm and a pretty hmm. category, uh, strong one as well. So as we go throughout time here, even as it makes landfall, we're going to have lots of problem here. I'll sh problems too. I'll show you that in just a minute, but it's still a Category 1 storm, so we're still going to have some very windy conditions, some high surf, lots of problems with these storms, even destructive problems. Here is a setup. We have a steering mechanism. That's not a good thing. We have an area of high pressure. It's a big one. It's going to blossom tomorrow. It's going to help to storm, help to steer that Category 4 storm right into the southeast, depending where it ends up over the next several days. And then the second problem is that high to the north. So once it makes landfall, it's going to get stuck there. Kind of when you're out on the roadway, you get stuck or there's a wall. It's not going to be able to go anywhere. So it's really going to stall. It's going to sit and spin and just drop lots and lots of rain over the next several days. We're talking anywhere from 5 up to 15 inches hmm. of rain, even higher than that. So, Ali, we're not talking about snow. We're talking about rain. It just sounds like a lot of rain, and it will be. We're going to see some pretty bad flooding as we go throughout the next several days. And it doesn't end this weekend. We're going to see those problems into next week. So let's talk about the winds as well. That's going to be a problem where you see the pink, the highest winds. So Cape Hatteras, Wilmington, Raleigh, there you are in the pink, even down to Charleston. A little less, but still moderate for Roanoke, Charlotte, Charleston, some really big wind gusts so keep in mind we could see some power lines down we could see some trees down blocking roadways so you want to get the water you want to make sure you have the flashlights and batteries this is the time to prepare i can't urge that enough right we want to hope for the best but we're really going to prepare for the worst because we're seeing this trend to stay intact day after day after day and there's not a whole lot in its way to stop it so let's talk about the rainfalls we go throughout time here again 5 to 15 inches of rain up to 20 in some spots and we're talking training over some areas. So it's not going to move like some other storms. Think Harvey, where we just saw that rains day after day. The bullseye will be where you see uh, the hot pink. Seven inches isolated higher amounts as we go throughout uh, time. And then again, we are just uh, really active over the entire tropics, and the uh, ingredients are there for these really big storms. All right, I'm heading out there. I'm going to be uh, are you? in the Carolinas for this. Uh, it, worth noting, though, that Charlotte is is within an area that American Airlines is going to start canceling flights now. That's what I think. You know what? My twin sister has a storm, uh, yeah. has a um, flight on Thursday. Yeah. And they're going to start canceling yeah. probably late tomorrow. Yeah, so everybody yeah. should be ready for that if you've got plans to yeah. go to the southeast uh, because Atlanta's close by and Charlotte's close by. These are both hubs for Delta and for American. Uh, it's going to affect flight, yeah. flying and travel across the entire country. Yeah. Michelle, please, thank please you. Please stay safe. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. Sure. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.